Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. So today we're going to be putting the insulation up around where the electrics are coming in. Uh, so as you can see there, when we did the concrete floor, we actually got the electrics to come up through the floor. And what we're going to try and do is embed the electrical fuse board into the wall so it's kind of hidden um, or at least sort of in the wall rather than kind of protruding the wall. But what I need to do is put the first layer of insulation and then get some wood and put a board up ready for the electrician to be able to attach the fuse board onto that wooden board. So let's get going. So as you can see, I idiotically held the camera the wrong way, so we're filming in portrait. But as you can see, I've cut two holes in the insulation where we can install two battens of wood, and that will allow me to install a plate of wood which the electrician can install the fuse box to. So it's a gorgeous sunny day today and the electrician slash plumber is here to install some of the electrics and uh, the plumbing for the sink and the uh, dishwasher. It's really really cold here today, woke up it's about minus six so lovely crisp day and uh, I'm going to get on and cut or trim uh, some of my oak, one of my oak trees um, just to get some of the higher branches down so it doesn't grow too big because the tree is very close to our house. So that's what I'm up to today. Um, let's go and see what the electrician's up to. So the electrician's got his lights all ready to install the fuse box, but he's also drill, drilled a hole from our current kitchen, or our new kitchen, through to our bathroom. And as you can see, I've filmed the wrong way again, but here's the hole that he's created from the bathroom into the kitchen, and that will allow for all of the water and drainage to go through and supply our new kitchen. So here's my ladder up the top of our oak tree and I've just been cutting the top branches off and then chopping all of the smaller branches into little bits which we will use for kindling but we'll probably let them season for a year and use them next year for kindling. So I've now put the insulation on the second part of the wall. As you can see, we did that one before. I'm now trying to do this one. Uh, you can see where the electrician has put the fuse box. So the idea is we'll hide that fuse box, but I've got most of the insulation up. You'll notice there's a slight difference in some of the insulation. That's because we've run out of five centimeters of the aluminium backed uh, or the foil backed insulation. So I'm using some of the insulation that I had left over just to give it the full thickness. But it's starting to look good. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna start putting in the verticals. So here we are, as you can see, I've got most of the insulation up in and around uh, the beam, which was quite difficult. Um, but also around the windows. There's obviously, I still have to finish off a few uh, elements around the window, but I need to, I'm gonna do that in a minute. One of the mistakes we made on this wall behind me is we put the metal bars or tin, as people call them, up before I tape the joints. So this time I'm making sure that I tape all the joints first because that will make my life a lot easier. So I'm doing that. Uh, as you can see in the far corner, I've got one uh, length of metal in. Uh, now I'm taping it all up and once I've taped it I can put the rest of them in. But it's starting to look good and it's starting to feel warmer in here already. So around the windows what I've done is I've just used these metal frames to give me kind of a leg here and a frame here so that when I do the plasterboard I, I've got something to screw it to on this side and on that side. It's slightly lower than the window because obviously the plasterboard is plaster going to come up to kind of here. I've also done on the side here a bit of a gap. That'll give us a bit of an angle so that it'll let more light in. So we've now done both windows uh, and they're starting to look really good. There we are guys, the wall is completely insulated, which is great news. It's ready for the plasterboard, but I'm going to do that another week. Next week I'm going to start on the ceiling and start putting the sort of MDF wood effect beams on the ceiling. Remember to click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified of my next video. And I'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Bye.